So, people have been asking, why Argentina? The answer is simple. Argentina have messier bollocks. Have messier. Have messy. <laughs> How's it going, lads? Uh, this is Phil Palo here. Welcome to the seventh episode of Road to a Better Bollocks FC. Now, I hope you understand that animation and that it wasn't just a complete load of shite. But, uh, you know, the reason I picked Road to a Better Bollocks FC and picked Argentina to be the team to represent Bollocks FC is because of Messi. And then I had the bo- pair of Bollocks go- getting hairier as the thing went on. Oh, jeez. Anyway, that was like a little you know journey into my brain as i say and uh because because pairs of bollocks are flying everywhere and they keep getting hairy anyway we'll just keep go- going on with this episode and you'll see from that goal i thought i'd campanaro in a lovely little position to stop stop Huntelaar from getting that header but no Huntelaar flew in he had the run on me and he, he scored obviously but it didn't take us long to get back in the game with a beautiful fr- finish from his goalkeeper <laughs> oh god i was delighted because i could tell this guy was quite sweaty so the, because he's very sweaty, I turn on a bit of sweat myself. As you can see, Lamella with the header, cross in. I, I didn't care, you know, I didn't care. I wanted that win. Um, but yeah, no, it was a solid enough game. A lovely bit of football being played here with the lads. I've noticed that when I play Lamella, I, or not Lamella, when I play Zarate, I don't feel as clinical up front. So Dennis seems to be the main man to do the business. But Lamella there with a lovely bit of skill. Uh, and we go into in a, in a half time three one up lovely stuff um almost almost scored again here look i tried to remember that but it went flying over the goal unlucky lamella um i asked yesterday you know write in the comments what do you want to see you wrote to a better bollocks fc our exotic teams and uh at the start it was quite even but you know better road to better bollocks fc won when i checked it, it was 47 votes for that and 28 for exotic teams but uh, I, I realise that a lot of people do like exotic teams as well, so I will try and get that out maybe tomorrow, and uh, we'll see how it goes from there. Um, Ansaldi, I love coming in from the left-hand side with Ansaldi and trying an absolute wellier of a shot. <laughs> uh, there wasn't much goals in this game now, as you'll see, but I was pretty much all over him. I just couldn't break the deadlock, you know what I mean? It was one of those games where I was all over him, but I just couldn't. Uh, it seems to happen too much for me. Look at it. I'm just all over him here. It's ridiculous. But uh, he gets a clear in the end. But uh, here's the goal here. I just... No, no, this is not the goal. Sorry, Jesus. Uh, nearly scored Zarate. But uh, I'm coming up to my 10th episode of this in the series. And I'm thinking that for the 10th episode, I might do a live you know a live episode where i've got like a webcam uh you know so i'll have a face cam and all what are you thinking of that lads that, that could be interesting but uh you see i, I do back the goal with serate in the end do the little heel to heel flick and romero was recommended to me in the last episode even though I, this, this is actually from probably a few days ago when i recorded all this but romero six for four goalkeeper and he's slightly higher rated now, I come up against this guy, and he's got an all-Algerian team, and I'm thinking to myself, great, I just need three points to win the division, and perfect, I, I, I'm I up in, I get, like, whatever, 8,000 coins or whatever I get for winning Division 3, and I'll be into Division 2, but it was not that simple. I get complacent, and I, and I have to admit, this guy was quite a good player, uh, and some of my defending was rubbish, but he really he deserved the win, I'm not going to lie. Uh, and it, it frustrated me but he then wrote to me after saying you know good game but it was a good game for him not me <laughs> but both of my goals are shite you'll see here I get a penalty and you know anyone can score a penalty you know and so I even really led it the wrong way as well you know so it was kind of like a little consolation goal it wasn't really much because this guy wait till you see this oh no yeah wait till you see this fucking hell Romero not covering himself in glory there is he Jesus Christ, but uh, I'm going to blame that on low morale. His morale isn't up full yet. Um, but we get another goal back here. I <laughs> wait to see this. I had to take Gomez off. Do you remember I said in the last episode how big a pain in the arse he was? He was like hemorrhoids, you know what I mean? You know how sore they are. <laughs> I'm only messing. Um, but uh, yeah, we bag a little goal here with Costa, and it was an absolute beautiful finish. <laughs> Not only messing. But uh, we're finished off here completely by the Algerian team. 
uh, with an absolute screamer. And that's where you have to ha hold your hands up and say, I was beaten by the better player. And I was. I'm not, I'm not the best player. In, I'm not the best FIFA player. I know that. And there, that proves it. But we saw a left forward, a silver man, to replace Gomez with a stupid high work rates, you know, defense. His high defensive work rates made him fucking go everywhere. Like, he was playing in center mid most of the time. And I was going, what are you doing, you muppet? But, uh... Bravo is more like it. He is unbelievable. Four star skills, ninety four pace, and I, and so cheap. I did. I couldn't believe it. I thought he cost about five k, not one thousand four hundred. Um, and he nearly gets his gets his first goal for the team in his debut. But um, I, I don't know what happened there. Actually, I was trying to press circle for ages, and it just kept cancelling. I was going, what the fuck? <laughs> uh, I'll just play in my retardation. But uh, your man nearly scores a lovely little scissors kick there, and he nearly actually gets. Look, he nearly opens the score in there, but he hits the crossbar. Uh, but, you know, I was the better player in this game, definitely. It wasn't like the Algeria game. And when your man goes down to 10 men here, he gets David Alaba sent off. I'm feeling confident as Jesus. And uh, nearly score from the resulting free kick. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, I hit 39,000 subscribers yesterday. And that is class, considering... Uh, I just can't get over it how quickly it, you know, I just started uploading the support you lads have given me straight away has been unbelievable. I, I honestly didn't think it would be like this. Um, so thanks for that, I have to say. And 40,000 sub subscribers coming up. That just sounds like such a sexy number. That's actually my lucky number. 40,000 is. <laughs> no, I'm only messing. What kind of a fucked up lucky number would that be? But uh, what I did when I went 1 0 up in this game, oh, Jesus, lads. When I went 1-0 up, I went attacking because I wanted to finish the game off. And that was the most stupid thing I could have done. I should have just held on to get the win, to get promoted into Division 2. But I didn't. So we're still in Division 3 at the end of this episode. We need two more points. And fucking hell, I was pissed off at that. Um, but anyway, stay tuned, lads. If, you, if you're if you still listening, go on, leave a like. Don't forget to leave a like. That'd be class. And uh, sure, I'll probably upload tomorrow. So I'll see you then.